Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. Everyone, I wanted to talk to you guys today about safety regarding your dog swimming. So first of all, not all breeds are made for swimming. So it's important that you do your homework if you're not sure if your dog is um, built to go swimming, always consult your vet. You can always look up its breed and check online and see what it says about that dog. It's just important to know your dog and know its capabilities before you go hit the waters. A question that comes up a lot is, should I use a life jacket on my dog? So yes and no. Again, it kind of depends on your dog's capabilities, but an example is my dog is a very good swimmer, but when we're out paddle boarding or outdoors swimming, being that she's a pretty big dog and I'm a relatively small person, I put a jacket on her because it's safer. So paddle boarding, she's usually on the board with me, but that's not a guarantee that she's gonna stay there. I'm she'll jump off to go, you know, swim after a duck or just cause she wants to cool off. So I use this, it's called Outward Hound life jacket i'll put it in the link um it provides enough flotation for her to paddle around i don't need to worry about her getting gassed and possibly getting tired um another thing with the safety and the if you're paddle boarding or kayaking or anything with a board i do think it's wise to have a line from you to your dog just for safety a uh, long line is usually a good idea because that way if your dog if it's short and your dog jumps off, you're not going overboard with them necessarily, but hopefully you've got good balance and you can kind of, you know, lure them back to you. Uh, another thing I really like about this life jacket is the handles on top. So if she's off the board and I need to get her back and she's kind of by my board, I can just kind of use these handles and pull her up and get her back on the board. So another nice feature why I think it's a good idea to have these life jackets um, when you are outdoors, especially swimming with your dog. If you're indoors and you're swimming with your dog or you're in a confined pool that your dog's allowed to swim in, it's really up to you. I'd say if you're gonna keep a good eye on your dog and you can be in the water with your dog, the life jacket may not be necessary. I'm going to head to an indoor pool today just to show you guys how that life jacket works. Um, it's not necessarily a setting I would have that vest on her. I have my eyes on her at all times. It's got an easy entrance, easy exit to the pool. She knows if she's getting gas that she's only about five feet away from an exit. So not normally a situation that I would totally recommend having a life jacket on your dog, but just for the sake of showing you how it works, um, I'm gonna show you that today. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys how this life jacket goes on, and then you'll see it put to work here. All right, so it just has some Velcro that goes in the underbelly. Come here, Raven. Before you take your dog outdoors swimming, there's a lot of things to be aware of that we just as humans don't think of. It's good to check the beach that you want to go to or the lake that you want to go to. Make sure there's nothing out there that says, you know, it's, um, the water levels aren't good to be swimming in. If it's not good for you to swim in, don't put your dog into it either. The thing to keep in mind is that lakes, ponds, rivers, they have organisms in them and they can possibly be contaminated. It's always good to bring a 
clean source of water for your dog to drink so they're not tempted to drink from the lake or the pond that they're swimming in. That way they can avoid that as much as possible. Another thing to keep in mind is lakes, ponds, rivers, a lot of them are treated with pesticides. So that can be poisonous to your dog. You really wanna watch your young puppies and your older dogs or immune compromised dogs. I definitely recommend Googling the place you wanna to go to and seeing if there's any like advisories on the water. So just a simple Google search of where you wanna take your dog can usually pull out of recent reviews and you can kind of feed through those and see if there's any dog related stuff. So one time I was considering taking my dog somewhere and I just Googled it and I saw that like a week prior to that, a person had taken their dog there, they swam in the water, and the dog had like severe diarrhea and spent like three days at the vet and it was like almost life threatening. So had they not gone to the vet, that dog probably would have died. You can also always check the EPA's beach guide. Something specific to watch out for is called blue green algae. I'll show you a picture here now. It's a cyanobacteria that can be found in calm waters or like still ponds, things like that. So keep an eye out for that. You definitely want to keep your dog away from that. Make sure you wash your dog off because they may have got some of this pond bacteria on their coats and you want to make sure that you clean that off of them. Also, after rinsing them, make sure that you dry them really good to avoid having hot spots on your dog. Just like I said in the beginning of this video, a rule of thumb is if you wouldn't swim in it, don't put your dog into it. I've heard of horrible situations of people, you know, tossing their dogs in water or their dogs jumping in water where they can't see what's in that water. So my mind immediately goes to like, oh my gosh, what if there's like alligators or snakes? Forget the alligators and snakes. There could just be like a sharp stick or a jagged rock. Um, there's a lot of dangers with waters that you can't see through. So my rule of thumb is like, if I can't see what's happening then my dog's not gonna go in it so I hope I haven't totally scared you off from taking your dog swimming in the outdoors this is not meant to scare you but just to have you be prepared so always have a plan make sure that you are keeping an eye on your dog after you do take them swimming somewhere so if there's signs of lethargy or they're not eating or they have diarrhea or they're vomiting I would say the last two being more severe definitely go to a vet as soon as possible because some of these bacterial waterborne things can be fatal. <laughs>